King Cyrus the Great was a ruler of the Achaemenid Empire, which was one of the largest and most powerful empires in ancient history. He was born in 550 BCE in Persia, which is modern-day Iran, and became the ruler of the empire in 550 BCE. During his reign, he conquered many neighboring territories and expanded the Achaemenid Empire to include parts of Europe, Asia, and Africa. Cyrus is known for his innovative and progressive policies, which helped to unify the diverse cultures within the empire. He was a strong believer in the concept of religious tolerance, and he allowed the conquered peoples to practice their own religions and maintain their own cultural traditions. This helped to foster a sense of unity among the various peoples within the empire and contributed to its prosperity. One of Cyrus's most famous accomplishments was his conquest of the powerful kingdom of Babylon in 539 BCE. At the time, Babylon was one of the most advanced and influential civilizations in the world, and its defeat marked a major milestone in the expansion of the Achaemenid Empire. After defeating the Babylonians, Cyrus allowed the exiled Jews to return to their homeland and rebuild their temple, which had been destroyed by the Babylonians. This act of kindness earned him the title of Messiah among the Jews and helped to cement his reputation as a fair and just ruler. According to the historical record, Cyrus was able to defeat the Babylonians through a combination of military strategy and diplomacy. One of the key factors in Cyrus's victory was his ability to gain the support of the Medes, a neighboring kingdom that had previously been conquered by the Babylonians. By allying with the Medes and other neighboring peoples, Cyrus was able to build a coalition that was powerful enough to challenge the Babylonians. In addition to building alliances, Cyrus also employed a number of military tactics to defeat the Babylonians. He is said to have used a combination of cavalry and infantry units, and he made use of various types of weapons, including spears, bows, and slingshots. It is also believed that Cyrus was able to take advantage of internal conflicts within the Babylonian kingdom, which may have weakened their ability to defend themselves. Some historians believe that he may have also made use of psychological warfare, using propaganda and other tactics to demoralize the Babylonian army. Overall, it appears that Cyrus's victory over the Babylonians was the result of a combination of military strategy, diplomacy, and possibly other tactics. His ability to build strong alliances and make use of various military techniques were key factors in his success. In addition to his military conquests and progressive policies, Cyrus was also known for his wise and effective rule. He established a system of government that was based on the principle of decentralization, which allowed local leaders to have a say in the governance of their own regions. This helped to prevent the concentration of power in the hands of a few individuals and ensured that the needs of the people were taken into consideration. Cyrus was also a patron of the arts and sciences, and he encouraged the development of literature, art, and architecture throughout the empire. He is credited with commissioning the construction of the famous Persian capital of Persepolis, which was a symbol of the Achaemenid Empire's wealth and power. Despite his many accomplishments, Cyrus's rule was not without controversy. He was accused of being ruthless in his pursuit of power and of suppressing dissent within the empire. However, these accusations should be viewed in the context of the time in which he lived, when it was common for rulers to use force to maintain their power. King Cyrus the Great died in 529 BCE, at the age of 70. The exact cause of his death is not known, but it is believed to have been the result of injuries sustained in battle. According to the ancient Greek historian Xenophon, Cyrus died while leading an expedition against the Masajte, a tribe of nomadic horsemen who lived in what is now modern-day Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan. The Masajte were known for their formidable cavalry, and Cyrus's army was said to have been heavily outnumbered. In the course of the battle, Cyrus was said to have been struck by an arrow and died from his wounds. His death marked the end of his reign and the beginning of a period of instability within the Achaemenid Empire. Overall, King Cyrus the Great was a highly influential figure in ancient history. 
His innovative policies and successful military campaigns helped to establish the Achaemenid Empire as a major world power, and his legacy continues to be revered in modern-day Iran and the world. If you liked the video please consider liking and subscribing.